Hi friends, welcome to all. In this video, we are going to see the packet tracer activity, transportation of data from Internet of Things. Here we can see our objectives of this packet tracer activity. Understand how data can be transferred between a server using file transfer protocol that is FTP and end devices such as PCs, laptops and mobile devices. Also, we will go through the background. An FTP server allows you to transfer files between devices in different locations. So in this activity, we will create a text file and upload it to an FTP server. We will then download the file to other devices. We will come to step 1, create the text file. In this step, we will create a text file to upload to the FTP server at ftp.cisco.pka. Click PC0, click the desktop tab, then go to click uh, text editor to create a text file. Uh, click in the white space and start typing in your document. Here we can see our uh, PC, that is PC0. Coming to desktop and uh, here we can see text editor. Here is that. So here we are going to give the details. Like a tracer right so this is our data next we can see when finished click file then save enter the new file name sample.txt click ok click X in the upper right hand corner to close the text editor right so we have to go to file and here is save option here we are going to give the uh, file name as specified sample.txt okay then we are going to uh, close this uh, text editor next is a uh, click command prompt at the prompt type dir to list the files in the c colon slash directory verify the new file uh, is in the directory Right, so coming to command prompt and here we are going to give a DIR. And here we can see our text file uh, named sample.txt. Now we will come to step 2. Upload the text file to FTP server. So in this step we will upload the text file to FTP server from uh, PC0. Right. At the prompt, type ftp space ftp.cisco.pka to access the FTP server. When prompted, enter Cisco as both a username and password. Right, so here we are going to give that in this PC0. ftp space ftp.cisco.pka We are going to press enter trying to connect ftp.cisco.pka it's not connecting so what we will do we will give fast for oh it's connected here right here we can see that so username cisco password cisco here we can see now we are in ftp Suppose it's not connected uh, to this FTP, here we can give that fast forward time uh, so that the network will be converged and it will connect to FTP, right. Here they given that not if necessary, click fast forward time to speed up the process, exactly. That can be done. Anyways, here we connected to uh, FTP server uh, through PC0. Now we will go to the next step b to upload the file to the ftp server enter put space sample.txt this is the file name at the prompt here we can see that we will enter this information here put space sample.txt and we are going to press enter here we can see writing file 
sample.txt to ftp.cisco.pka file transfer in progress transfer complete total 38 bytes copied within these seconds next is uh, to verify the file has been uploaded to the ftp server type dir at the prompt to list the files in the directory how many files are currently in the directory what is the size of your file we will verify that now coming to pc0 here we can see now we are in this ftp server and here we are going to give a dir oh and here we can see total 33 files We'll start from zero so total 34 files and here we can see the file that we copy to this FTP server uh, it's a sample.txt and here we can see the size it's a 38 correct Now we will come to step 3. Download the text file from FTP server to company laptop. In this step, we will download the text file to company laptop from FTP server. So click company laptop, enter the desktop tab, click command prompt. Then at the prompt, type FTP space FTP.Cisco.pka. When prompted, enter Cisco as both the username and password. So we will do that. We will close PC0 and we will come to company laptop. Here is that. Coming to desktop, command prompt, and here we are going to give FTP space ftp.cisco.pka. It's a prompt for the username, it's a Cisco. Password also Cisco. And here we can see now we are in FTP. Uh, from this uh, laptop uh, company laptop next is uh, to download the file to the FTP server enter get space sample dot txt at the prompt right before downloading uh, this uh, file uh, from this uh, FTP to this company laptop we will verify the directory in this uh, company laptop so we will quit from FTP and here we will give DIR here we can see zero files so uh, there are no files so now we will go to FTP Pass, uh, username is Cisco password also Cisco and here we are going to give the command uh, get then we have to give our file name sample.txt and here we can see file transfer in progress transfer complete 38 bytes next is after downloading is finished type quit at the prompt to leave the FTP server then to verify the file has been downloaded from the FTP server type dir at the prompt to list the files in the directory so how many files are currently in the directory what is the size of your file right so we can verify that we will quit from ftp and here we will give dir and here we can see now one file there in the directory that is a sample.txt which is copied from uh, our ftp server Coming to F, repeat the previous steps to download the file onto the tablet. Right, so we will uh, close this uh, company laptop, and here we can see our uh, tablet PC0. Coming to desktop, command prompt, we will list the directories in this uh, tab. Here we can see zero file. Now we will go to FTP space FTP dot Cisco dot pka username is cisco password also cisco and here we will give get sample dot txt so uh, file transfer in progress transfer complete 38 bytes we will uh, quit from this ftp 
and now we will verify the directory here we can see one file sample.txt next on pc0 open the text editor and turn the desktop tab click file open select sample.txt and click ok right so coming to pc0 text editor here is that file open here we can see sample.txt and here we can see our uh, data on this uh, sample.txt right again open the sample.txt file on the both company laptop and the tablet right so coming to uh, the device company laptop text editor file open and here we can see sample.txt and here we can see the same data coming to tablet pc0 text editor here is that file open and here we can see sample.txt okay and here also we can see the same data next is uh, compare the sample.txt files yes already we compared are they the same yes so on these uh, three devices uh, company laptop pc0 and a tablet pc0 uh, it's the uh, same what are the advantages and the disadvantages of using the ftp server one of the biggest advantage of using a ftp is the ability to not only transfer more than one files but you can also transfer multiple directories at one time. Also, uh, the advantage is FTP permits multitasking. When we talk about the disadvantages of FTP, encryption is not supported. Also, the FTP service has a size limit on files that we can send. Well, in this video, uh, we have seen the packet tracer activity, transportation of uh, data, here we created a text file and we have seen how to upload this file to the server and how to download from the server friends if you have any doubt please comment below also if you like my video give a thumb and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel so that you will get latest uploading video info directly into your gmail thank you